paid today. We're going to send some fish to some special dream reef tanks. But before we do that, let's rewind this and start from where we start packing the actual fish. Hope you enjoy. Let's start packing some fish. We usually use three different types of boxes, being foam, and um, the small ones we use only for row. We call them a medi box, and they are a three kilo box. The other types we use are a medium box, which is a five kilo, and a larger box, which is a 20 kilo. There's five kilo and 20 kilo are both air freight approved. We can't send the smaller box via the airport because it is not air freight approved. The smaller box we fit two fish in. The five kilo box we can fit up to 20 fish in. And the larger box we fit up to 50 fish in. All boxes are laid out identically. They all have arrows indicating which way they are needing to travel. They have a label on the sides which indicate their live fish. And they also have destination labels on the top of each box. When sending via air freight, there's a minimal requirement for bag thickness. So where we can, we do try to double bag our fish for the air freight to meet their requirements.
During the packing of the fish and prepping of the boxes, we tend to look forward to the fish's destination and check out the temperatures. That way we can prep heat packs using hot water and we insulate them. There are two types of bags we use for the process of packing our fish. There's a smaller type and there's a larger type. The smaller type we use approximately 250 mils of salt water and the larger type of bag we use approximately 750 mils of salt water for their travel. We use your traditional net to catch the fish, but then I use my hands to put the fish into the bag. I find sometimes I'm a little clumsy with the nets putting the fish into the bag. They might get caught up in the net on their scales or the any spines on their uh, fins or what have you. So I found the best and safest and calmest way for the fish is to use my hands when collecting the fish out of the net to put into the bag. You'll see every fish that I collect is I'm looking at them intensely. And what I'm looking for here is any blemishes and checking for their quality. I do this with every single fish we pack, but I also do this five to six times through their life cycle within our facility before they go out. Every fish that leaves our facility, when they're packed, they're filled with bottled oxygen. Now Jade's already taken the liberty of booking these flights the day before to ensure the position on the plane. We utilise Virgin Pet Cargo and we need to travel down to Newcastle Airport. It's not a major airport, but it's our local airport do have limited flights and it's approximately an hour and a half to two hours from where we are located. Now that we've made it down to Newcastle Airport, let's go check these fish in and send them on their way. Okay, the fish are dropped off now. We're at Newcastle Airport. They're heading out to Melbourne. They'll get there this afternoon with their customers or their owners, the new owners, picking them up for the new homes. I hope you enjoyed this video. In a day in the life of coastal clownfish packing fish. Don't forget to subscribe, 
like the video, don't forget to tell your mates, and we'll see you around the next one.